The city of Pearl is continuing to recover after last Thursday's storm swept through that area, leaving behind lots of damage and debris. Rankin County Coroner David Ruth says 57-year-old Suzanne Kolop was standing outside on her home on Summerwood Drive when a tree fell, killing her. Our Quentin Smith speaking with city leaders today about where things stand in the recovery process. He joins us now live from Pearl with the latest. Quentin. That's right, CJ. The city of Pearl was hit hard when the strong winds came sweeping through. I mean, just take a look. You can see toppled trees and snap tree branches and other storm debris scattered as far as the eye can see. This is the walking trail here at Bright Park. It's one of the parks closed in the city right now due to the damage left behind from last Thursday's storms. But the good news is the city is already starting the cleanup process. So if you live in Pearl, you can expect to see crews coming in and removing tree limbs and other debris left behind by the storm. In all, 44 homes were damaged. Two parks, including Bright Park and Veterans Park, along with the municipal golf course, are all closed right now until everything is cleaned up. Mayor Jake Windham says cleaning up residential neighborhoods is their primary focus right now. We don't want trees laying on the road for a month or anything like that, so we want to get out there and get it taken care of. But we have a plan in place. We've all already contacted a, another company with that has dump trucks, so they might be seeing some dump trucks in the neighborhood and us using um, us using those track hose and some of that heavy equipment to clean things up quickly. The cool thing to see in times like this is people come together and help each other. So you go through the neighborhoods on Friday and Saturday and everybody's out helping each other clean debris out of the front yard. So if there is a silver lining to this is that, is that you see the good in people. Now, Mayor Wyndham says another man was also injured during the storm. A tree fell and hit him in the head. However, the mayor did say it's only a minor injury. At this time, there's no word on when the parks will be back open again. Also, no word on how long it's going to take for all of the storm, storm debris to be cleaned up. But if you did receive any damage from this storm, you're asked to take photos and to send in that information to city leaders. You can do so by visiting RankinCounty.org. We're live in Pearl. Quentin Smith, three on your side.